Welcome back, and today we are doing Caring Wednesday. So today, for how we're going to care for our musical stuff, I'm going to show you how to clean the clarinet for to repair and take care. So I have a few various tools right here, and with a special break in my instrument, I have some rubber bands. These rubber bands for my instrument are for this key for as a spring broke. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to check all the different broken parts and make sure everything is okay with your instrument. It's also good to have a screwdriver, which I custom made this as for sometimes especially like for this key. This this little screw right here likes to come loose. So, my friends, as you can see, get this in. Hold up. <laughs> there we go. Screw it back down. Maybe made out of a hairpin, but it works just the same. As long as it works, it's fine. But it's also good to have a, a an actual screwdriver because those work. Those are really good to have on you. And it's good. And also, you should look at every single one of the pads and chort, and the cork too. And this right here is cork grease. What you want to do with these is apply it to all the cork. as it'll help your instrument get put together a lot better. So I'm gonna apply the cork crease to all the pads. As this is one thing you should always do with your instrument. Have all your cork. Put some cork grease on it. And of course you have to be doing it this from time to time. And with the with the caps, plastic's better because they want to chip your mouthpiece when you hit it. Like so. And then go like that. That should be all the pads done. Once you finish all the pads, of course when you're done playing, you want to clean up the insides. So here are a couple of tools I have. This is for the mouthpiece. Wait, what I basically do with this, what I do, is go here first, go here and turn it a bit, go from all the way through, and I go around this way. And once I'm done, I take this and I go through it to dry it out. And then I use this through all the rest of them. Next thing you want to do. This is for all the keys. You want to clean up all your keys. Make sure they're all nice and shiny. Basically get all the metal bits. Right now I'm just going with it in the case. So it's a lot better and more stable to see it. And there's the stuff in between it. So what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to brush it. As it fits in all the nooks and crannies. Making sure it's all nice and clean. Maybe quite a bit of work, but it's definitely worth it. 
I might keep the plastic just for this. And what I have to do with my instrument is I have to check the rubber band. Because those break often. And sometimes, you go put wa running water through it. What I do in these those cases is I close up all the holes, which is these three, and this. When you have a rubber band on you want to make sure that's all the way up before having that down. Make sure it's all nice and closed. Then the water goes through. And then you want to leave it out of the case so no mold grows on the cork. Now, for the reeds, let's just do all my bad reeds for an example. Now this, I'm not entirely sure how it's used, but... From what I believe, it goes in like that. And I can hold up to two reeds. In fact, I may use that from now on. As that will be quite a bit better than what I currently have. Now well, this is the actual read I use every day. That I'll keep separate. I keep three reads on me. Two, three, and one, two. My two read is for an extreme emergencies. Now from those to the side. Now we're gonna take this. This here. Let's use go through all of them. You see, you put it through, and you go like that. You pull. And you repeat over and over again until it's nice and clean. As you can see, mine's quite old and needs replacing. As that happens sometimes. Now that's basically how you take care of your instrument. But there's still some more. There's still some, some I haven't told you about. Like for example, this cloth. It's used for the finish. It's a polishing cloth. Used to make it look real nice and clean. And you want to make sure you get all the spots. As you can see, it's looking so much better already. I've barely done anything to it. Now you want to keep your stuff organized. And Casio InterstateMusic.com. Not sponsored, but really good for cleaning supplies. As you see, I haven't done this yet, but I will in the future. Soon, actually. Just 
Especially if you're in a marching band, you want to do that. There. And that's basically all the stuff you need to clean your instrument. Last step now, so close your case. And you're done. That's all for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.